brought to you by UCAN. I'm Jade Wilkins, and I'm here today with Nicole Robinson, who is the Vice President of the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Jade. All right, can you tell me a little bit about your role in the Chicago Food Depository and what you do here? Absolutely. Uh, I am Vice President of what we call Community Impact at the Greater Chicago Food Depository, and I lead all of our programs, workforce development, and public policy programs. And at the Food Depository, we are committed to ending hunger. Uh, we are one of 200 food banks across the country who do this work, and we service uh, the greater Chicagoland area within Cook County. Uh, there are about 800,000 people who show up at food pantries, soup kitchens, and shelters uh, across our service area. Uh, and we help connect them to food, to work, and we help mobilize the public uh, and raise awareness so that uh, we can do something about ending hunger uh, because there are policies in place, there are resources. It's all about connecting people to the resources that they need. That's amazing. When I was here, voluntary um, last year, I never would have noticed um, or imagined that the Greater Chicago Food Depository um, you know, connects people to these different resources that allow them to get jobs as well as food. When I, when I came here for the first time, I learned that they just connected them to food, not so much, you know, job resources, and, you know, that they were working to um, fix these policies that are in place in the U.S. that are preventing that. And thank you so much for volunteering at the Food Depository. Of Welcome course. back. Thank you. And uh, thank you for that observation about that work. But, Jade, when you think about it, uh, hunger is a symptom of poverty. Uh, and when you think about uh, a, a place like Chicago, one of the, the key issues we deal with in Chicago are poverty, uh, racial inequity, and violence in our city, and hunger intersects with all of those things. So in our work, uh, we take all of that into consideration. So if we're gonna end hunger, it's really important uh, for us to think about the economic impact and how we connect people uh, to employment. One of my main goals in life is to establish my own nonprofit organization, kind of like what we have here at the mm -hmm. Greater Chicago Food Depository. And I was wondering, mm -hmm. well, what are some of the qualifications that you would need or the qualities that make a successful business like this, like a successful nonprofit? Sure. I, I think, uh, well, there's two pieces to it. I think part of it is. Uh, you know, hunger has been around for a long time, and the food depository has been around for 40 years. We've been doing good work, uh, but we know that there's uh, more to do, and we need to get at the root cause of, of some of these problems. So I think for someone like you who wants to start a new nonprofit, you know, you need to ask yourself, what can I do differently? And you need, what's my niche? Like, what is the food depository missing? <laughs> uh, that's not being done to serve the community and really getting a sense of what does the community need from your vantage point that they're not receiving. So I think that's a big opportunity uh, for you. And you know, part of it is just being curious, curious and listening to people in the community so you get a sense of what they really need and uh, so that you're giving them the right solution. So that I think that's a big part of it. Just be curious. I really want to be more involved in the community. Mm -hmm. and I really see the community as like a family, but mm -hmm. it's more like a divided family. Uh, that is part of the opportunity. You know, how do we bring people together? How do we, a lot of times we talk about at the Food Depository about going from transactional relationships to transformational. If we could just make our relationships at home, at community, and at work transformational, we solve all the world's problems. As we draw our interview to a close, I would really like to know, are there any role models in your life that have led you to become the person that you are today, involved in nonprofits such as the Greater Chicago Food Depository that work in issues like food insecurity and food waste? Sure. Uh, actually, of a, 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 a some uh, not famous people, like uh, teachers uh, in elementary school, Mr. Boyd, <laughs> uh, and teachers in high school, Carol Gehring. So I, I had everyday role models. I, I have wrote my mom's a role model for me. She was a single mom. And uh, my grandmother is a role model as well for me uh, because she, she worked real hard. She was part of something called the Great Migration uh, and came from Arkansas for a better life for her and her children. 
so so all of them the, the, those women inspire me in my life uh, but then there are so many great women leaders in the city of Chicago and one I think you might be interested in who is um, became the head of the World Food Program and she was the first African-American woman to lead the World Food Program which works in over 75 countries uh, around the world and she lives right here in Chicago Wait. yeah she lives right here in Chicago so so that's definitely someone I looked up to for sure when I think about this world of uh, anti-hunger work Thank you so much for being with us today. It was really wonderful talking to you and learning more about the Greater Chicago Food Depository and what you do here. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure to meet you, Jade. Um, you are phenomenal uh, <laughs> at what you do, um, and you're smart. So mind if I get a hug? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining and coming to the Food Depository to do this interview. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for having us. This has been Jade Wilkins.